What is up, guys? Welcome back to Milk Bar. I am Metal Gear Yoshi. And this is Omega Six. What's up? Um, so today we're going to talk about a game that I've been looking forward to for years. Uh, that mediocre seems... number nine. Shut up. <laughs> but yeah, it's Mighty Number no. Nine, and a lot of people um, have been giving it a lot of, um, pretty much a lot of shit just because it's kind of uh, one of those games where um, it didn't meet expectations apparently. And I understand where people are coming from with that, but um, yeah. So pretty much, if you don't know what Mighty Number no. 9 is, it's a game that uh, the creator of Mega Man, KJ Inafune, started back in a couple of years ago in Kickstarter. 2014. 14, right? Uh, no, that was before that. I thought it was 2014. I don't know. <laughs> but he started it back in the day, and <laughs> yeah, supposedly, since he cut his uh, cut out contact with uh, Capcom, he wanted to make a spiritual successor to uh, Mega Man, and that's what Mighty Number no. 9 ended up being, with like a $400,000... Uh, Kickstarter goal, which it met, like, surpassed overnight to, like, a million and some dollars. And then they asked and for another one a little after after that. I don't yeah, know they when, started but... making, um, no, that same night, and they're like, wow, we actually got some pretty good feedback, and everybody's, like, really excited because we haven't gotten a Mega Man game since, uh, what was the last one that came out? Mega Man 10 for the Wii, wasn't uh, it? Mega Man 10 for the Wii, I think, and then, I mean, but those are kind of, like, yeah. But or, or Star Force, that, maybe. St yeah, the Star Force and the Battle Network series, but, I mean, besides that, just 10, and that was, like, back for the Wii, and... You also have, um, I mean, Capcom has the like the balls to t say like, oh yeah, we're making another Mega Man game. Uh, like twenty twenty or something like that. No, no, no. There was words. They were like, oh, expect another Mega Man game in the next twenty years. Like, oh, that's, yeah, right. And uh, everybody's pretty upset with that, especially with the uh, how um, they canceled uh, Mega Man Legends three. He's still on the moon. In mid, yeah. He, Look at they, the moon. He looks back at you. Yeah, right. Hoping he's, that one day he'll come back with Master Chief. And. Um, so Mighty Number no. 9 came into the play, and uh, everybody's really excited, and uh, they eventually raised the goal from PC to, oh, we'll bring it to console if we meet 2 million, 3 Eight million, million, 4 million, and they ended up raising over 4 or 5 million dollars, which, uh, when their Kickstarter closed, they ended up taking uh, PayPal, uh, I think, donations, and that's when they kept going. Um, they had a bunch of uh, controversy, especially with uh, the graphics. Not just the graphics, but I think one of the first ones was that they had this... Uh, they have this forum for the backers and um they have this girl that apparently got into it and and she got a job with it and she started blocking out backers who had different opinions of her and she started just blocking and banning them from the forums oh, really? so where they couldn't even yeah and it ended up being a big thing until finally she got fired like last year and everybody was like super happy and i forgot her name but um, that was one of the first, and then eventually it was all the delays. Uh, it was first scheduled to release like 2015, I think it was. Uh, they delayed it to April, and then went back to September, and then it was supposed to release in February 2016, and then they delayed it all the way down to spring, which ended up coming out on, uh, what was it, July 24th, I think, and it came out. And a bunch of people uh, before the game came out were giving it. July 24th, when it's only June. Uh, not July 24th, I'm sorry, June 24th, and, uh, and um, they ended up giving it 6.5 in, like, Metacritic and all these other places. But so do you think that matters, though? You think Metacritic, I mean, one of our topics is, you know, does Metacritic, does that matter? You know? uh, that's the thing. Um, I, I don't take those to heart because they, they, they are too big in the industry, too, where I, I think they're completely biased and they get bought out and whatnot. And I'm pretty sure they have really close ties to Capcom and Capcom. I'm pretty sure they're not really that happy with Mighty Number no. 9 being out and giving them competition to a series that they killed out themselves like, what, seven years ago? And so, like yeah. Like Homo. And so, they had all this controversy and when it finally, the game finally came out and uh, I tried it out and it was a pretty good game. I mean, I, I bought it, it was, what, $25, $29, something like that. Yeah. Uh, not even a full price game and it has a pretty good amount of content once you're actually playing it. Yes, the graphics have, I mean, they're not Sega the greatest. Sega Dreamcast-esque? Yeah, actually. And, um, anime fan on prom night. Anime fan, uh, yeah, anime that's what I, <laughs> fan on prom night. Anime <laughs> fan on prom, prom night. night. <laughs> no, but the game actually ended up being pretty solid. I mean, it's it's smooth. It's a smooth playing game. The graphics are not the best. I understand that. And I think what really was the downfall of this whole entire game is how much money they got and all the delays and how long it took to make a side scroller. Mm -hmm. uh, this game should Especially have not with taken those graphics. I mean, it doesn't look like Dark Souls. It's not like it was a full no, on no, no, you know no. experience. It was just these little. Look between worlds looking character models and then you know and I, I, what I see you play and I, what I play a little bit is it's fine you know, I like Mega Man and I bought the expensive $150 pre-order helmet yay me and I just don't see I guess the big deal I mean it, it's good but it, I don't know 
I just I'm not really that impressed with it as I am with Breath of the Wild or you know stuff like that or ukulele even looks better and it got less funding you know and that's the thing too I mean you're, you're you, if the game would have came out in its original release date as it is right now um, with what what came out now if it would have come out back in the day I'm pretty sure we would have gotten better reviews but delays cost the game uh, you know it raises people's expectations so yeah people are gonna expect more and they expected more and I did too but when the game came out, I mean, it's a smooth game, it's fun, it has a lot of content. Once you actually finish a story mission, you have all these, uh, or you don't even have to finish, you have all these challenge modes, which are actually kind of entertaining. Um, the music, the characters, it's, it's, a, it's an okay game. And it's, it, it has the benefit of, um, you actually get the hard copy of the game, you open it up, and you have a poster, and you have a booklet. Like, I haven't seen one of those since, like, what, the Game Boy or GameCube? Yeah. Uh, nobody adds, like, $60 school. games. Yeah, and this is, like, a $29 game, and you get uh, the game itself, the content, blah, blah, blah. And then you get the book and the poster, which is I think is a pretty nice little detail, especially for a thirty dollar uh, dollar title. Which I mean, Dark Souls, uh, I mean, not Dark Souls, but I mean all the other normal games. You open it up and it doesn't have anything. Most of the games, not all of them, like Dark Souls. Even the, the game guys printed on side the label. Yeah, which is actually kind of cool. You open it up the game and it's in there. Yeah. Hmm, and Dark Souls, for example, when I opened it up, uh, it was like the day one edition, but I'm, I mean you can still find it these days. And it has like the soundtrack and a poster and a map. I think I don't remember. But I mean, and, and that was just a sixty dollars game. But I'm saying for no, number nine, number uh, mighty number nine for it being a thirty dollars title, it's not that bad of a game. Thirty dollars no, title, 30 you bucks, pretty good. Yeah. But I think you see these many delays. Like what was it, Shigeru Miyamoto's famous quote? You know, a delayed game is eventually good, but a rushed game is forever bad. And I think they, even though they delayed it a lot, they still rushed it. And it was rushed at the end, and that's. You also got to put into consideration that uh, concept, which is the concept concept is a new company newer company uh that he started out and yeah he, he may have the experience but he, he also had to find developers he had to find the funding he had to get mm -hmm. advertisement and i'm pretty sure capcom had brought some sort of lawsuit out of it and may, whether they announced it or not i'm pretty sure capcom said something about it and they had to go through a lot of things which is developing a game i mean i have no idea how it is but i'm pretty sure it's not just um programming and putting developing. legos together yeah it's not nothing like that i mean i program myself and i know what it's like and Having such a brand new team and putting everything together, uh, I think that's that was the main challenge with Mighty Number no. Nine, and I think it can only get better from here. I mean, I don't hate the game. I think it's a, a pretty good game for what it is. I don't. I definitely don't give it a six point five. I think it's definitely about an eight, eight and a half. I expected better, but I mean, I was pretty happy when it's out yeah. when I it think, came out. Yeah, I mean, I, I like. I'd say I'm set it for thirty bucks. I mean, that's pretty good. And that's what helped it a lot. If it would have been a sixty dollars title, I would have not. I would have been definitely. Oh, no. No, no, no. If it, I mean, 30 bucks and you get a, I mean, it's nothing, not much, but it's a poster and you get the game and the, the, the actual booklet, like the, with the character information, which is actually kind of unique. Not a lot of games do that anymore. Yeah. And yeah, even back it. in the day, they were black and white. They didn't even bother. To well, then Overwatch, I mean, Overwatch has, you have to find it from external sources. You have to go to their website. You have to, you know, I mean, I wish, you know, Overwatch had that information because I think the heroes are so creative. So well made, so fleshed out, but yet we just have this multiplayer experience. You know, I wish they would do Mighty Number no. Nine did and have you know, hey, this is Mighty Number no. Eight. He likes to drink. And that's whatever. what they did actually. They do have a backstory and friendship. And what I like about it is if you kill, uh, kind of like in Mega Man, if you kill uh, one of the bosses, or uh, one of the, and let's say Mega Man X, for example, when you kill one of the Mavericks, you can use its weapon against another Maverick and da da da. Um, but in this one, if you kill one of the, uh, what do they call him, Rogue? Rogue uh, mighty numbers, mighty number, one of the rogue mighty, mighty numbers. Yeah. Um, he uh, the mediocres. He will actually shut up. <laughs> he will actually like go to a different level, and um, you can fight the level whether you beat a previous mighty number or not. But you can actually go in there, and if you beat the co one corresponding to, let's say that level, um, you can actually he'll actually come in and help you. And yeah, the weapon is still kind of strong against the boss, but he'll come in and help you throughout the level. So like, he'll skip like a mini boss or something for you or something. It's kind of cool. He'll give you extra details about the level, but I mean, you don't have to do it. But if you do do it in that in, in a certain order, um, they'll give you tips about the book, the the level itself, which is kind of cool. It's a kind of like a throwback to Mega Man, how it was. Like uh, my favorite Mega Man X is four, Mega Man X four. I mean, I, that's my favorite. I mean, not five and six are cool. I never played seven or eight or uh, Command Mission. And you're a Mega Man fan. You yeah, sure dude, that? I fucking love sure it, man. That? Yeah, it's awesome. You didn't play the other ones though. No, I, I played all of them. You're yeah, good. Get I played good. I, I get good. I played all the my, uh, Mega Man uh, Battle Networks. I played uh, Star Wars One, Two, Three. I played um, well, not all the Battle Networks, but I played like One, Two, Three, Four, Five, and Six. Not all the versions though. Um, I played uh, 
uh, the Legends ones. I played um, the original ones, which I'm not. I mean, I understand they're classics, but I'm not a big fan of them. Uh, I don't. know, I just really like the high speed and the music of the game itself. But I mean, overall, I think uh, My Dear Number Nine was a pretty good game for its price and everything. I think it was good. It sh could have been better. It should have come out earlier. But it, it, you also got to think of the consideration. It's not just making the game. You actually have to go around the whole, I mean, legal issues within the game, international licensing, uh, copyrights, everything on a brand new series. So I think that was one of the big challenges that they had. But it, it justifies. I mean, it's it's not a horrible game. Yeah. It, it's good. It's high spaced, uh, high high paced game, and it's pretty. Um, I think it's pretty solid. And the game, the graphics might not be the best, but. It sure, is a, it's, it sure is fun. I don't regret spending the money for it. Like, one of the games I regret buying the most is Pokemon Tournament, for example. Yeah, I paid for that one. That was oh, 60 yeah. bucks. I paid the full price. I didn't like it. I played it once, twice, probably two days, and was, I hit Yeah, it. I played it for about a week and a half, uh, religiously, and then I pretty much just collected dust on my shelf, and I traded it in. Frankly, if it didn't have uh, the Mewtwo card in it, I wouldn't have bought it, because, you know, I'm a Mewtwo collector. Are. Yep. Yeah, you are. And um, that's the only reason. I think that one of the big pushes that made me buy it. And I, I don't like the game. It's, that one was too arc. I understand it was an arcade game at some point, but it was too limited for console release. It should, should have not been sixty dollars. So many title. Gen One Pokemon too. It should have been a thirty dollar title actually. But yeah, thirty anyway, forty. Yeah, I definitely could see that more. Than not sixty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um. Anyway, yeah. let us know what you think about it in the comments, and if you agree or disagree in the mail bar. But I think that's gonna be it for this time. I'll see y'all later. See ya.